Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another Cardwell's Cauldrons here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And today, uh, we're just messing with a fun little deck here before the new set starts getting revealed. But before we do, go and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and we love you very much for it, and the link will be down below. Today, we are dealing with Sleight of Hand. Uh, honestly, I've, I've built almost everything that I can possibly do. <laughs> And so I was just like trying to throw this together and see hopefully it works. We got some new cards to deal with it, especially a new Planeswalker to help us get to the victory. But Side of Hand is basically just another discard draw deck and hopefully you just win by them bleeding themselves out to death. Uh, the first one of course uh, creature we have, Yarax Finlurker. It's two black, one one horror, enters the battlefield, each opponent exiles a card from the hand, so it just gets rid of the hand. And if you dare do so, you can pay three, uh, it gets plus one until on a turn, and then you just swing in for bigger. Yeah, mostly you're just going to discard their hand with that. Yeah. Because that dude, you don't really want to pay three ever. Exactly. Uh, next up is Murderous Rider. He is two black and one for a two, three lifelink, and when he dies, you put him at the bottom of your library. But he also has an adventure mode, which is swift end for two black and one instant destroy target creature or planeswalker, you can lose two life. So, seems good. he's just a good all-around creature because he can be a spell or a creature. And we have Rankle, Master of Pranks. It's two and two black. It's a 3-3 Flying Haste. Whenever he deals combat damage to a player, uh, choose any number. So you can, each player discards a card, each player loses a life and draws a card, and each player sacrifices a creature. Of course it goes from top bottom, so you can't have them draw a card discard, because that'd be too cute and too easy. But to be able to have them discard what they have, draw something, and then you make them discard it later anyway. So it's not too bad. That is it for the creatures. Yeah, yeah. The spells. It. We got Discovery Dispersal. The first spell is Discovery. It's a blue-black hybrid mana and one. For a sorcery, you surveil two, then draw a card. And for those that don't remember, surveil two. You look at the top two and you decide where you want them and you can put a one in the graveyard instead. Yeah. Um, and then you just put it back on top. Uh, the other one is Dispersal, which is a blue-black and three for an instant. Each opponent returns a non-land permanent they control with the highest cost. Among permanents, they control to their owner's hand and then discards a card. So it bounces a dude and makes them discard a card. Yeah. Or even if it's a pesky planeswalker or something, it just gets it out yeah. of the way for sure. And uh, this does have a slight surveil theme because I wanted to use a campaign, which is pretty awesome. But we'll get to the next one, of course, is Heartless Act. One in a black instant, destroy target creature with no counters or remove up to three counters from target creature. Just a simple, quick way to kill. Mm-hmm. Thought Erasure is a blue and a black for a sorcery. Yes. Target opponent reveals their hand, you choose a non land card from it, that player discards that card, and you surveil one. It's just one of the most annoying cards to deal with. Yeah, it's super annoying and it's super good. And then Tyrant Scorn, it's blue, black, instant, choose one, destroy target creature with converted mana, cost three less, or return target creature to its owner's hand, which you can just make them discard anyway if it's something really big and pesky. Next is Davriel, the Rogue Shadow Mage. He is a black and two for a three loyalty walker. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if that player has one or fewer cards in hand, he deals two damage to them. Yay. And then you can minus one, target player discards a card. So he's just there to help you discard cards. That's his point. Simple as that. Uh, for for fun, we have Demonic Embrace. It's one and two black enchantment aura. A uh, creature gets plus three, plus one, and has flying, and this is a demon in addition to its other types. But you may cast a Demonic Embrace from the graveyard by paying three life, discarding a card in addition to paying its other costs. So you can just constantly just... Especially if you put on Murderous Rider and you just gain 5 life a turn and just hopefully end the clock there. Next is Disinformation Campaign. It yes. is a blue, black, and one for an enchantment. Whenever it enters the battlefield, you draw a card and each opponent discards a card. And then whenever you surveil, return it to your owner's hand. So it does help you discard their hand and draw you more cards, which is really, really strong. Yeah. And then with your ability to surveil pretty well, it really does help. And that's what I really wanted to do is just to always have value over your opponent. So you're drawing more cards than they're discarding and hopefully just you be able to control the board like that, especially with Elspeth's Nightmare. It's two and a black. Uh, it's a saga, so chapter one, destroy target creature with opponent creature, or controls two or less, that's nice. Uh, chapter two, target opponent reveals their hand, you choose an online creature and on land from it and you discard it and then pay, and they, uh, the third chapter is exile targets opponent's graveyard. Because sometimes the shenanigans from the graveyard is dangerous. Next up is Liliana, Waker of the Dead. She yes. has two black and two for four loyalty walker. Plus one, each player discards a card. Each opponent you who can't loses three life. Yep. Minus three, target creature gets minus six, minus six, where X is the number of cards in your graveyard. And then minus seven, you get an emblem at the beginning of your 
combat on your turn, target creature card from a graveyard on the battlefield under your control, it gains haste. So all those dudes that you made them discard, she can get them back on their ult. Yep. And she's just really strong for a four drop walker. See, I feel like that too. That's why I was like mainly built this card around. It's just another way for them to take damage each time they don't have cards in their hand. So mm -hmm. simple as that. Especially three life is not nothing to scoff at. And that is the deck. It's literally just a little solid package. And with the lands, we only have, we both have, we have both of the castles. So Castle of Loch Fwain, which uh, of course doesn't come into play tapped unless you control Swamp or untapped. And you can pay one, two black, draw a card and lose life equal to the cards in your hand. And the Castle of Ventress, which is the blue one. So you can pay two, uh, blue and two, tap, scry two. Just hopefully, you know, get your draws in order so you'll be able to win. And of course we have Fable Passage because I'm not dealing with temples anymore. So yeah, Island Swamps and of course Water Graves, which is the Shockland of Blue Black. That That is the deck. And hopefully uh, you'll be able to see it on Arena soon and see if it can get there. I hope it does. Hopefully it can just be able to control the board uh, easy enough and the hand to just take over the game. Yeah, it's very straightforward. It's going to be very easy to play and pilot. It's going to be super fun. Yeah, yeah. And uh, looking over all the things, it's actually pretty cheap to build. So with that, uh, stay tuned for the arena gameplay and hopefully you enjoyed your stay at Utopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Uh, thank you, Dwayne Higgs. And thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.